Major Slack Attack. Hey, welcome back to Major Slack Attack here. First off, we're clinically insane Starfield gameplay. This is the hardcore survival challenge where I'm playing on very hard difficulty with an extra set of rules of engagement. Uh, I'll put an overview on the screen and for complete details, read the video description. Alright, um, at the end of the previous video, I said it's going to sell off. It's pretty routine stuff, and I have now come up with. 6,000 credits and after careful consideration I realized that we're not going to make it unless we power level starship design up to rank 4 first this is a back ass way of doing things normally you'd want to get piloting up to rank 4 so that you could pilot class C ships so that you could skip over having to buy a class B reactor and simply buy a class C reactor and build your ship based on a class C reactor um, with these extra hard rules of engagement, that's just not going to be possible because uh, destroying 28 more ships to get piloting rank 4 with the parts available now, class B parts available now, not going to be able to do it. Not going to be able to do it. We'd have to power level up to, for my calculations, we have to go up to level 41 in order to get a decent reactor. Um, without having any points in starship design. So we're going to have to do a bas back ass service. We're going to have to power level starship design up to rank 4, then go back, build a class B ship with all the parts available as starship design rank 4, then blow away 28 ships, then build a class C ship. <laughs> things we got to do for this challenge right yeah anyways i got a detailed plan worked out so let's get busy let's get to it this all starts off with getting starship design rank one there we go and our job your mission you should use decide to accept is to install five unique ship modules all right and let's start we're going to do the, all this on the cargo ship Okay, so I got a detailed plan. I'm gonna have to resort to my cheat sheet here. Put ship bed 200 landing bay in front. Good idea. Okay, so here's our ship bed 200 landing bay. Let's yank this off, and we can flip it around so that it works in the front. And we could just delete this Nova bracer and put this in the front like that. Done and done. Next. Add a Nova Galactic Science Lab. Good idea. So on the back here, so we have a workshop and Nova Galactic 2x1, go all the way near the end. Second last variant, Science Lab. So now we have a workshop and a Science Lab on the ship. And we just added two parts. Next, landing gear. Delete these two landing gear. And we're going to put the Hope 6 landing gear. Because those landing gears suck. They only give one landing thrust. And that's going to be an issue. So we're going to add the Hope 6 landing gear port on this side. And we could add the same on the other side. We're trying to um, add as many unique parts as possible. So it's going to look stupid. But we're going to add this one here. The Aculander landing gear port. Okay. So these both have lander thrust 2. Next, um, cargo. We're still working on adding, adding more cargo, so let's add the Caravel B102 cargo here. And once again, we don't want to add the same cargo on the other side because we're trying to add as many unique parts as possible, so let's add the B103 cargo here. And that is just short of our available amount of credits. And that should be five unique parts. Let's exit. There we go. So we complete a Starship Design Rank 1 Challenge. Now, um, before we get Starship Design Rank 2, because you can actually repeat parts between the challenges. Let's just make sure um, there are no parts here. We don't need this equipment place, so let's delete this. And anything that is extra on the ship.
everything else we need. Just that equipment plate. Done and done. Okay, now let's get Starship Design Rank 2. And we can't because we don't have the skill point. So now, um, we have to modify this base for maximum output. That means building a whole bunch of more storage containers. So let's start out by sleeping one hour. Let's build an industrial workbench outside. And making 50 adaptive frames. That's all, just 50 for now. All right. We want to delete these four storage here. The, the contents will auto automatically be added to our cargo hold in our ship. Okay, and we want to add four storage containers per extractor, with the exception of the cobalt, which we'll be adding five. Okay, so here's our cobalt. Meh. Stick. This is incredibly finicky. Um, let me just move it down here a bit. That's four, and let's move one near the outpost beacon. Like right about here. That's five, okay? Here's our aluminum. This one gets four. One, two, three, and the fourth one will appear put near the outpost beacon. Right. Here. Iron is over here. One. Two. Three. And the fourth one will put once again near the outpost beacon. Four. And finally, nickel. One, two, three. And a fourth one right here. Very good. Okay, now let's connect them all. We're going to connect the extractors to the first box, and we're going to connect the last box. Well, let me just explain here. Extractor to the first box. And we want to connect this top box to this box here and then when we get on the ground I'll connect all these connecting bot like these boxes here because it's a lot easier to do that part on the ground it's easier to explain with this one connect the extractor to this box here the first box connect the last box over to our beacon box and the other two boxes we're going to connect once we're on the ground, okay? Out of fly cam mode, it's just a lot easier to do it like that. Same thing here, connect that to this one and connect this, whoops. This one to this one. Connect this one over to this one. Okay, all connected up. Okay.
Here is our nickel extractor. Extractor is connected to the first crate. The last crate is connected to what I call the beacon crate, but the intermediate crates are not connected. So we have to connect this one, this one, connect this one to this one. Now they're all chained together. Chained, 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 and this one is chained over to that one. Okay. Same thing with this one. You see, this extractor is connected to this box. This box is connected to this box, but these two are not connected. It's just a lot easier to do it on the ground. There you go, like that. So now they're all properly chained together. One, two, three, four, and five. Wait a minute. There's one missing here. This one needs to be connected to uh, a beacon box. Right. So this one, because like, it was fumbling around, yeah. There you go, that's five. Okay, so the cobalt gets five. I'll explain why later. The other get four. Alright, I'll slow it up there, Captain Quirk. Get your boost on. We <laughs> Okay, that's connected properly. Connect that one to that one, connect that one to that one. And we're good. That just leaves the iron. Modify mode. Connect. Connect. Okay, everything is properly connected. Okay, all we have to do is sleep four hours. to get everything to fill up. And you can check your industrial workbench and you should have close to 900 every, yep. Aluminum 90, 90, 999 plus, iron 999 plus. And here, nickels 999 plus. And just a little short on cobalt. All right, now, the issue is cargo space. We're not allowed to be overburdened or carry around stuff overburdened. So we have to carefully calculate cargo space. One thing I love about this rule of engagement is it forces you to be a businessman. You know, you can't carry out big business until you build a big enough ship to, um, you know, to do business. We have... Um, This should be down around 400, but um, we should have around 2300 spare cargo space. So let's just crank out a big batch of adaptive frames. And we'll go from there. Okay, as many, as many adaptive frames as you can make. Okay, and if this is your first time doing this, as you can see, we're power leveling like crazy. We're getting a lot of XP for this. Okay, so let's access our ship. Our inventory. Go to resources and send the adaptive frames to the ship. So our inventory is, is good. It's legal according to the rules of engagement. And the ship's inventory is about 300 short. So we can cram some more resources in there. And according to my calculations, we can make two batches of isocentered magnets plus 75. 
Okay, so two full batches of 99. One, two, plus 75. Okay, go to your data menu, click on your ship, go to the ship's cargo hold, go to your resources, send them to the ship. We're good. And the ship is almost full. Perfect. Let's take it to market. Okay, so that's going to be our procedure henceforth. Sleep four hours, make as many adaptive frames as you can, and make two batches of isocentered magnets plus 75. And that's the maximum amount that your ship can hold while working, working on Starship design. Then go to the market, sell it off. Basically go to, to Neon Core and, and sell it off at the Trade Authority. If he's standing behind the counter. If he's not standing behind the counter, it's, it's a pain in the arse trying to access his inventory. I'd recommend going next door to Seagard's Outfitters and going through his dialogue so we have an option in case I'm not standing behind the counter. If you don't see what you need, feel free to ask. Welcome to Sick Hot. Okay, let's just jam through his dialogue. You only have to do this once. There we go, so we finally got this for sale screen. You only have to do that once. Go to sell from ship, resources, sell all your adaptive frames, go down to isocentered magnets, sell all your adapt isocentered magnets, and we have now have close to 5,000 credits. So we can carry on. Very good. Next, back to the base. Okay, looking at my cheat sheet here, get Starship Design Rank 2. Quick save for sure. And uh, Starship Design Rank 2, I think I already did that. Nope. Yeah, because I didn't have the skill point before. Get Starship Design Rank 2. Quick save. Ship builder. Okay, I already deleted the equipment plate and we're gonna delete the docker. Move cockpit up top and move workshop and cockpit forward. Okay, there's a workshop, move it forward, cockpit up top, very good. And we're going to add a Deimos comp 1x1 one one to the front. Abs, Deimos companion 1x1 one one to the front. Hope tech comp 1x1 one one behind the cockpit. Once again, we have to add unique parts every time. You just can't add the same part over and over again and expect to complete that challenge. You have to add different parts. Okay, so add the Hope tech 1x1 one one here and add an Nova Galactic storeroom back here, all one by ones. Okay, and we need a docker, and we need the docker out of the way so we can add tons of other parts to create a complete monstrosity. The best thing to do is add the docker to the front. So let's add a Hope 11 docker 4. This one here, just because this is the cheapest. Okay, so now the docker is out front, so now we can build up and out to our heart's desire. And um, we now have a grab jump error. Needs need more grab jump to thrust. Ship is too heavy to grab jump. Reduce mass or increase grab jump thrust. You can correct this easily simply by deleting one of the engines. Okay, there we go. Because those engines are heavy ass engines, and they provide. Um, they're not very very efficient. All right now. My cheat sheet says exit. 
Okay, let's do that. I'm not going to argue. Exit. And we have... We added four unique parts. Let's go back in. Add... Hope Tech Pipes A. Where? <laughs> Uh-oh. This would be structural. Hope Tech Pipes A. Right here, yeah, at the back, yeah. Okay, Hope Tech Pipes A mid. Nova Bracer at the end here. And Nova Cowling 2 LPM. Nova Cowling 2 LPM. That one right there. And now we're, all, we're out of money, so now we have to make more money. Exit. Sleep four hours. Can do. Alright, once again, full load of adaptive frames, as many as you can make. It's almost uh, over 900 for each, that's good. Roll down to isocenter magnets. We're going to make two batches of isocenter magnets and 75. And that's the perfect amount to fill up our cargo hold without overloading. Ship cargo. Switch over to resources. Send them to cargo. Our mass is okay. Ship's cargo is... Oh, we can squeeze some more in there. Okay, let's make another load. Did I miscount? I thought I made maybe I I misclicked and only made one ISO centered magnet instead of 99. I could have done that. Okay, it should be two batches and 75. Okay, so we're full up. Let's go to market. And are you working toward that next technological leap? Okay, he's behind the counter. Be Great. Now we're getting See when he's behind the counter, um it's a lot easier to access him. There we go, everything's good. Sold off. Alright, what's up? And we're going to have to do this again to hustle up enough money to do the next round of Starship Design. Okay, so it's going to be pretty routine. Actually, let me just uh, verify. Actually...
and 75. Two batches plus 75. That's good, and oh, my notes are wrong. It's three batches plus 75. Okay, minor adjustment here. Three batches of magnets plus 75. That's good. This is almost full. Perfect. Alright, cranking him out of here, boss. This is so we can have enough money to make the next batch of parts for the Starship Design Rank Challenge. Grady's behind the counter. Need to move some merch. Always happy to take your. All the adaptive frames and all the ISO centered magnets. All right, what's up? Busy. Okay, that should give us close to. Yep, nine thousand. That's great. Alright, now... It's pretty dark here. Back up to the shipbuilder. Major Slack Research and Development says add to the port side attach points. Horizon weapon mount. Okay, here we go. Structural, horizon weapon mount, porthole. Damel's bracer A. Damel's bumper. Damel's hull A. Add to Aculander port side. Damo's belly to the front. Damo's cowling on top. Add to the science lab port side Damo's wing A. Uh oh. Oh, I was supposed to put this up here. Oh, I could put that there. Okay. Hang on. Damo's wing A. This will cost 4,250 credits. That is correct. And this should complete rank 2 challenge. Let's see if it does it. Voila. All right. Thank you, Major Slack R&D. That worked out right nicely. Exit. Now, before you get rank 3, we got the points. Don't get rank 3 yet. Before you get rank 3, exit. Go back in. And delete all the parts. Because um, the challenges, the Starship Design rank challenges are unique from one challenge to the next. You can use the same parts that you used in the previous challenge over again. 
Okay, so as long as you delete all these parts, you can use them over again. So let's delete them now. Anything that we don't need on the ship goes. Don't need that. Don't need this, don't need this, don't need this. Just down to the essentials. We need the landing gear. We need a way to get to the cockpit. We need a docker. We need this stick thing sticking out to push the docker away from the landing bay. Everything else is essential. We're good. Exit. Quick save. Now, get Starship Design Rank 3. And now our task is to add 30 unique ship modules. Okay. We still have money. My cheat sheet says add to the rear of the Hope Tech Comp 1x1. One there's Hope Tech Companion Way 1x1. One one. Damos Hall A. Go to Structural. Damos Hall A. And a Nova Bracer. And a Stroud Engine Mount. There it is. Add on top of, add on top from front to back. Equipment plate, porthole, Damel's radiator. Equipment plate. Porthole. Damel's radiator. Spine A. Yeah. Uh, Where does spine A go, Mr. Laptop? Maybe at the back here? Oh, here. There we go. Demo spine A. There we go. And finally, Damel's tail A. Okay, there we go. Okay, so just to recap. Equipment plate here, porthole here, radiator here, spine A here, and Damel's tail A. Yeah, do this all very systematically and go systematically through all the available parts and it's a lot easier instead of just adding parts willy-nilly without a plan, you know, which I see a lot of other people doing. Yeah, do it systematic. And um, it says I should be out of money, but we can still add a few more parts, but I'm just going to exit anyways. And this should be eight parts. Correct a mundo. Quick save. Now we have to hu hustle up some more money. And we're gonna have to do the run three times. Okay, make a full load. Full load of adaptive frames, and uh, we've amended this to three loads of, or rather, just like making make adaptive frames until you run out of aluminum and iron. That's what I mean by full load, and then make three batches of isocenter magnets plus seventy-five. And we're gonna have to do that 
three times in order to have enough money to finish off adding parts for Starship to design rank 4. So, I'm just going to skip ahead and um, I'll see you on the flip side. Okay, I'm back and we now have 14,000 credits as a result of doing the frames and magnets run three times to market, right? And because we've already locked in eight parts into the challenge, um, we can delete the parts that we added. Although we can't add them again, but we can make space. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Delete parts on all the parts on top that are un not essential. So delete this, this. All those can go. But we can't add those parts again, but at the, at the very least we have these attach points available to us. More room to add other parts. Okay, so having done that, now we're going to work on the port side. Strike that. Add on top Hope Tech Pipes A Mid. Structural, always structural, hope tech pipes a mid and Nova Calling 2 LPM. Nova Calling this one, Nova Calling 2 LPM. Add to the port side attach points starting here. Horizon weapon mount all the way at the top. My notes are weird here, but I'm not going to argue. Um, it says to the port side of the science lab. Here's the science lab. Damos bracer A. Damos bracer A. Damo's bumper. I skipped this one here. Let's put the bumper here. Damo's hull A here. Add to the Aculander port side. This should go up here to leave the Aculander free. Okay, so Aculander, Damo's belly in the front, that's right. And on top, the Damo's cowling. There we go. Add to port side, Damo's wing A, B, C, and D. I'm writing on a space on the port side here. Um, Okay, let's put the B there. Let's put the A there. I don't know how the hell I do this in practice runs. Um, Damel's wing C. I have no idea where I'm going to add this. Um, what I could do is take the engine off and flip it. Put it here. Damo's wing C, cheat, and Damo's wing D. The notes have failed me. Um, okay, we're gonna have to put Damo's wing D on the other side and then just delete it afterwards. Damo's wing D. There we go. Just to keep following the game plan, because otherwise, uh... Okay, now it says, Exit confirmed to check the count, which is, should be 15 parts. Perfect. Okay, great. So now we can delete those parts. Okay, so we could delete all these to make some more attach points. Should we need them? And this too. 
Okay, now it says starboard side, add Nova Radiator port, starting here. Nova Radiator. That's the port. I don't know if this is a different part, it may not be. Nova Radiator plane. Nova Thruster Array. Nova Thruster Array. Nova Wing. Stroud Cap A. I was going to have to pull this engine off and Stroud Cap A. I'm not sure where I'm going to put that. Let's just put it there. It's not on the starboard side, but we added it. Okay, Stroud Cap A. Stroud Cap B. Stroud Cowling 1 LPT. Stroud Cowling 1 LPT. I don't know what the hell Practice Slack did here. I don't know how he did it, but uh, let's use some of these attach points on the other side here. Stroud Cowling. This one here. Now I should have a grab jump error. And I don't. Okay, let's continue to add parts. Um, Stroud Engine Bracer. Stroud Mid Bracer. Tayo Mid Cap. What the hell? Let's just add this. Exit to confirm and check out. It should have 23 parts. That's correct. Oh, I have 29 parts. I'm not going to argue. <laughs> I only have to add one more part. Yeah, this can get really confusing. I can only imagine how it would be if you don't have a plan. So let's just delete all this crap. Because they're already locked in. The parts are already locked in, so it doesn't matter anymore. Array. Okay, it's down to the bare bones. We only have to add one more part. The Tayo end cap. We can put this anywhere. Side cap will do. Let it do it. Voila! It's done. Okay, not as organized as I would have liked, but um, I got the job done. There we go.
Starship Design rank 4. And I've got 5 scare, spare skill points because um, with all that power leveling I was doing just to get the money up, um, I ended up, you know, I have an affliction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're up to level 18 and I've got 5 spare skill points. And we have Starship Design rank 4. Okay, so now we have a lot more parts at our disposal. Ah. <laughs> okay, great. Now we can build a better ship. That's it for this video. Nice long video for you guys. I want to thank you all very much for watching. If you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, post the comment, most importantly, subscribe to make sure you get all my videos hot off the press. All right, we have Starship Design rank four. Now we are cooking with gas. All right, see you next time. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, all right? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.